Ah, congratulations. Finally, Asu will now go to school. Lecturers will go back to class. Students will go back to school. It took so long, but finally, it will happen now. Ask me how. I know you'll be wondering. There was no meeting that concluded that they will go to class. But let me tell you the good news. Did you saw day before yesterday that the Nigeria National Petroleum Confederation, aka NFC, have declared their second profit for the year 2021 after proper auditing and whatever. They made the profit of 674 billion. This was announced by the uh, the the, uh, the chairman board of directors and His Excellency, our own president. When I him the minister of petroleum and the president, he says, "One way, you know, go do you for this country." <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am serious. Now, how does this have to do with us? We are a country that is dependent on crude oil, meaning every money they make from the sale of our crude oil and the interest they make from NMPC as a body is split across other ministries to make our economy work. The national education is suffering. It's in a state of failure. It's suffering what I call, oh, I like Jamaican woman. <laughs> <laughs> so if they have the profit of 674 billion and the essence of that body working is so that they can generate money for other parasites to work effectively, I want to suggest, it might not make sense to you, some of you are quick to just say some things without reasoning it logically. You might want to say, now any person who their money, make us also their own money. Let me tell you something you don't know. The money they make for any is supposed to be making education work. Do you understand? ASU is asking for 70 billion. We have 674 billion. Your Excellency. Now the youth will go vote for election. You can't keep the formidable force for the Nigeria that is supposed to make the Nigeria economy work at home and ask them to go and vote. It will not be out of place if by February Nigerian youth boycott Nigeria election. Will you keep quiet? It will not be. It will not be. It will no longer be a case of apathy. You are giving them reason not to vote. The full country, the youth are at home. And some of you that are in government, you own private school, your schools are functioning. Right you now. And you come and tell us you are our leader. You are not leading us nowhere. You are leading us into temptation. <laughs> you are not delivering us from evil. <laughs> Who will I be, sir? Continue. What is really going on? Remove 70 billion, say to us, that if their demand is no more than 70 billion at the moment. Because the more they stay at home, the more they tarry long, the more the money will be adding. You can't tell people further that have work, you have not paid them, and tell them that if you don't go back to class, I will not pay. Hello, you must say to the debt space. So please, can this profit that is Nigeria money be used to settle the case of national education that is suffering so much backlash? Can you say to us, please? I know this is my friend when whole camera now for me, so. The other guy don't get 300 level for three years. Now he's supposed to be breadwinner of his family. Now his father they call and they ask him how work. <laughs> Then he say they don't employ him for his school. They don't know say he never even graduate. <laughs> I said they take in the kira waba no base. Now Nigeria open to you know you. <laughs> also, do you know or are you aware that Ethiopia, Ethiopia is a country, an African country for that matter. One of the oldest African countries that exists. It was the only country in Africa that was not colonized. As a matter of history. Ethiopia is one country that even featured in our holy books. Go and read very well. You will know that Ethiopia is one country that has served as the Ethiopia for moving the agitation for self-rule in Africa. Do you know that the son of Ethiopia has declared that the giant of Africa, which is Nigeria, the Islam giant of Africa, that will no longer have the privilege of having visa on arrival? Hi, we are suffering so much disadvantage. We are suffering so much disadvantage because of the way we are, we are gradually making our country so uninhabitable. Please. 
Si you can do better now. How can students stay in the house for eight months, no school? And you people have the mind to say you want to do election. What are you even telling us? It's not like the money is made here. NNP is 674 billion. We want 72 national education. Let me have you no know, answers to that for the next 10 years. Prove us wrong. So Ethiopia now, don't they? Ethiopia now, they tell Nigerians, say no more visa on arrival. Before you can fly, then when it is here, you do your visa. Now we don't get that privilege anymore. Even our own fellow African countries, then they put us for disadvantage. What an honor, Ethiopia. <laughs> Hi. Let me even now and they pay myself. Now other countries don't they adjust, they put their boundaries in place to make sure that we don't come and attack their own economy. You understand? Because Nigeria is so free for everybody to jump in, no missing and so other people know they conscious of their own boundary. This thing I'm telling you, take note of it. Because the economic brain drain we are going to suffer might be higher than this. Are you not noticing that a lot of these banks, there are in so much irregularities with their with their technicalities and everything. If you want to use their app, you know they work. You wanna know what these banks what they talk about. The reason is because these young youth that have the technical know-how and understand tech, technology, with how this thing should work faster and serve us better. All of them are running from the system and going abroad to use their knowledge to better other people's country. These other older staffs, when they, they, they are very long week, they don't understand the, 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 the evolving dynamics with operating some of these technicalities where they unfold every day. Technology, they upgrade. Some of these older people don't know. That is why they stick by the analog way of doing things. Let's make this place habitable for you. The more we are making this place so uninhabitable, the intelligent ones are supposed to get our economy will run. Carry 70 million say to us to make students go back school. You can do it, Your Excellency. You are the President and Minister of Petroleum. You don't tell us we cannot survive with one work. Even though they say, boy, just the help us. You can't hunger. Hey, you know, they get the one hungry, we'll beat you now if you enter our car and sweat with the smell, I swear. I don't go. <laughs>